Hello, welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark and today is Friday the 6th of March. So it's my very first limited or special release bottle tasting. So I'm going to start with a whiskey that I've had in my collection for um, about a year and a half or so. Um, it's on its way out. You can still pick it up in very limited places. The distillery still advertise it as a product on their website. Um, they do have a button to click shop now and it takes you to an affiliated website. Um, but you can't find it. it doesn't, they don't list it. Um, all of the main online retailers have it out of stock. You can still find it in some of the independent retailers and on in some of the high street whiskey specialist shops. So it's worth checking out if you want a piece of, piece of history before it becomes rare, so rare that will only hit auctions. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the Glenmorangie Quinta Rubin 12 year old. So Glenmorangie, for those people who don't really know, um, is a Highland whiskey. It's located um, on the uh, Dornoth Firth, which is um, on the, the river, the Kyle of Sutherland, up in the Highlands. Uh, so it's it's a coastal distillery uh, near the little village of Tain. Glenmorangie Quintin Reuben. It's a port finished whiskey. It started life uh, for the first ten years as a regular Glenmorangie ten year old um, in uh, American White Oak ex bourbon casks. After ten years of uh, maturation, it was then transferred to pop port oh, rather ruby port pipes from um, the Quintus region of Portugal where it spent a further two years. The original Glenmorangie Quinta Rubin didn't have an age statement. They then released a new version which was this one which is the 12 year old and then last year they announced that they were going to increase the age statement to 14 year old. Um, so the 14 year old Quinta Rubin is what you can get your hold of now. The 12 year old unfortunately is disappearing. So that's why it's my um, special limited release video for today. So I'm going to give it a go. I will be doing a review of the 14 year old Quinta Rubin when I get around to um, future, future videos. So look, not much left. Not much left of this one at all. It's on its way out. It's bottled at 46% ABV. It is non, non chill filtered. They don't say anything about colour, unfortunately. Given it's being ruby port pipes, I'd be disappointed to think that they've added colour to this because, to be honest, it's not like it needs caramel. So I'm going to go on the side of I do not know. Um, I will give this a value score because um, you can still pick it up if you're lucky. Um, so you can still buy it. Videos that, of, of whiskies where you can't actually get hold of it anymore other than auction, I won't be value scoring it. But this one I will. Maybe this might be the only one I will value score. So average retail price um, was £45.95, which gives it an overall value score of 96.17. Um, which is not a bad mark. It's really, it, it should be a bit less than that because of the colour statement. I don't know about the colour. But... It's ruby port. How can how can I add caramel colour to that when it's got this pinky pinky red tinge to it? They can't really, can they? So I'm going to savour this last little drop for as long as I can. This is not going to come back out. In fact, I'm going to be putting some of my argon wine preserver in this once I finish this video just let last a little bit longer so 46% ABV well done Glenmorangie that is a is a good bottling um, good value so onto the nose fruity I apologise I'm starting to come down with a little bit of a cold so my, my nose is a bit uh. so fruity Berries, 
a little bit of mint, some dark chocolate. Some spices there, like a cinnamon maybe. You can smell the alcohol on it. It's, oh, it's, it's quite perfumed. Oh, it is a nice nose. It is a very nice nose, but on the palate. Fruit sweet, although the sweetness is a little bit on the more dry side of sweet. A little bit of chocolate, spice, definite spice. Quite a dry nut to it. I'm not sure what nut, but there is a bit of a kind of a drying nut in there. Fruit cake, tiny bit of fruit cake. On the nose, I was getting a little bit of Turkish delight. Rose, a little bit of rose water, and I'm getting a little bit of rose water in the um, the taste as well. A little bit of citrus. The finish is spicy, bitter, quite drying. The bitterness li lingers a little bit and it it moves into that almost artificial sweet kind of um, saccharine almost finish but it's not as bad as some of the artificial sweetener flavors I'm getting that's not bad not bad so um the Quinta Reuben as you can tell by the the bottle it's one that I very much enjoy and it is it is quite a delicious port finished whiskey um, which I'm going to score 88 now before I round up this video there's a couple of things the first thing is I just want to say thank you very much to Piranha Print of Jesmond who supplied this t-shirt obviously I bought it but they supplied this t-shirt um, so thank you very much to them and the second thing is um, well actually there's a third but the second thing is um, if you haven't already checked out my video um, from last weekend for the 1st of March, um, that was the um, Penderin, the St. David's Day special. I'm running a competition, so watch that video. You have to watch the video to understand how to do the competition, but once you've watched the video, then proceed and enter the competition. You could win um, a prize, which I'll be giving away. I will be doing more prizes, um, in coming weeks and um, so please uh, keep watching my videos because it's only by watching the videos will you actually um, find out details how to enter these competitions to win these prizes so what I will tell you is just subscribe if you could subscribe to my site and um, subscribe to my YouTube follow us on the social that are all available on the links on my website and you'll be in the running to um, win some of the giveaways I'm going to be doing so the third thing, the final thing is just a little tip for when we're drinking this. There are other whiskies that this works with as well. And generally it's something um, that um, a lot of people who enjoy whiskies will do. And it's pairing, it's basically food pairing. However, with this particular product, um, chocolate, a, a nice dark chocolate or, you know, a um, Bourneville chocolate will work quite well. So, what happens basically is when you eat a little bit of chocolate and then take a sip of a whiskey, you get new flavours that appear and it's quite good fun and exercise. Certainly it um, whiskey tastings to try doing this. So 
I've done I've done some private whiskey tastings um, in my home for friends and family um, to try and raise money for charity, and uh, this is something I'll be doing maybe at the next um, tasting. But try it. Some dark chocolate. Take a sip. Mm. And what I'm getting is this massive hit of maraschino cherry. Just intense cherry. Oh, that's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. I never did put water in, but you know why dilute down something that's such in limited supply now? I'm not doing it, so thank you very much, and uh, keep watching. Cheers, guys.